you, yo, yo, yay. Why do I have free nipples? Yo, yo, yay! Why do I have free nipples? <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> this cat is gonna be stuck in my head for so long. So long! Okay, here I am, Laura Shadows again. And if you know which song I sing already, and you know what kind of movie I'm going to talk about. Yes, Adam Sandler's new movie, The Ridiculous Six. Came out actually, you know, two days ago. I mean, uh, I, I actually downloaded it yesterday and watched it three times. And then I'm going to say, I, I'm going to say something that I bet only a few people in the world are going to say it. I love it. I enjoyed the movie, the comedy, the adventure, the action. Okay, there were, there were a few scenes who looked kind of racist, but... It can be passed. They were not so, I mean, big, you know, such, such, you know, to make a some kind of dramatic scene and everything. I mean, it could pass at some point. Okay. Also, you know, in this movie, like I said, like the, all, the entire trailer set, I mean, we had a lot of actors here, you know, very famous, you know, the one that we love, we know, including, including the old timers like Nick Nolte and, and Danny Trail. Man, I mean, we have some interesting people here. And before I came to the oh, Ultimate you know, Ridiculous 6 movie the review and everything, I just only wish to say that since the, I, I was waiting for this movie, since the first and the only trailer came, it came out. And I know there, were, there was some trouble with this movie and everything, you know, but after I watched it, I don't think, I don't really don't think what, what kind of trouble really they had with this movie because it, it looks fine and awesome and funny to me. So whatever. So I mean, since the trailer came out, there were a big struggle. I mean, the views were incredibly big, but the, there was a big struggle with the likes and dislikes. There were like a big fight, you know, between like you know, half them. Is all, they were always in the half. Half them saying was good, half them saying was bad, and the comments, man, eighty-five or eighty percent of them were, were were bad, saying like this: this movie's gonna stink, it's shit. That you know, Anderson is one of the worst actors ever seen. You know that. Uh, you know, I will, I will know that this kind of type of movie, you know, if you really should gonna pass, you know, not watching and everything. Hello, hello. I'm gonna say something that you should all uh, get, uh, get really, you know, find reasonable at some point. Fuck the critics. You know, you know send them to hell if you need. If you want to judge any single movie you want, forget the comments. Download it. Go to the theater. Whatever. And watch it. And then judge it. Okay? Then only judge the movie. Not by, you know, by the comments. Okay? That's one thing. The other thing is, you know, I am one of the few people I'm going to say that I love Adam Sandler. Yes. I'm a big fan of Adam Sandler's movies, and almost every single movie that I watch, I mean, not almost like, you know, the, uh, there were a few movies that I didn't like, no, no, but I meant almost, I mean, the ones I didn't watch. Almost every single movie that of Adam Sandler, I watched it, and I liked them all. I liked them all. Yeah, I liked them all. Since, you know, his beginnings to even now, including this one, I liked them all. They had, you know, they had the punchlines, they had the jokes, the adventure, the, the funny stuff, you know. A little bit drama in it and everything. It had everything. I mean, Adam Sandler is a, is a comedian in his own way. Every single comedian does a movie or a series, whatever, in his own way. I mean, it's not you know. Look, for example, like okay, for example, uh, Jack and Jill that came out in 2000, uh, 2011. You see, this movie was. It, was proclaimed as one of the worst movies ever made, you know, like, and the story was, you know, M. Sandler, like, you know, having this double, having this double role playing like his twin sister, 
which in my case was re actually really funny. Really funny and cool scene playing a double role. Something that I think he never did. I think he never did. I mean, it was <laughs> it was really cool to see that. And, you know, and a lot of people think today that every single movie, when you have an actor dressed up as a girl in the movie, things that, you know, like, you know, like, uh, he, you know, he's going to embarrass himself, like he's a disgrace, he's no more uh, a very, you know, famous actor, like, you know, his career is going to fall down the drain, and blah, blah, blah. If you want to know what true comedy is, go back in time. Really, go back in time. The times of Oliver Hardy and Stan Laurel. Okay? That time. Stan Laurel was the first comedian who ever dressed up as a girl, as a woman, in a lot of movies. Comedy movies. Some of them were an hour, an hour and a half, some of them were 20 minutes, but that doesn't, that, that's not the point. He is the symbol of what true comedy is. And also the the symbol that everyone has wants uh, has his own way to be a comedian by you know playing by his own rules, and that's how Adam Sandler works. And that's how Adam Sandler works. You know, if he, I ever meet him somewhere you know, on the street, whatever, I will tip my hat to him. Really, I'll tip my hat to him and say that congratulations. I'm a biggest fan. You know, I love all your movies, and I love the way how you you know made the movies and everything. And I will even add him. It doesn't matter what people says. What, what matters is what you think about yourself, about your movies, and your acting. That's the only important thing. I mean, sometimes I know the comments and the critics can be very important, but things like that, but most of them, let them go, you know, or let them talk whatever you want. The most important thing is what you think. That's all. Okay. So, I repeat again. Don't listen to comments. Don't listen to every single critic when you, that you see him on YouTube or wherever you go. Go to the theater, or download the movie, or buy it, whatever. Watch it, and then judge it. Not by the comments. Okay? So let's move on. So the entire story of The Ridiculous Six was, you know, like this Tommy, like, I don't understand, playing like this uh, white, you know, this Tommy White Knight Stockburn, who was, since he was a little child, was a member of the Indians. You know, who is, you know, his greatest weapons are, you know, like, knives, not pistols. And, of course, there you have, I don't know where you have, like, Nick Nolte, you know, who's playing Frank Stockburn, just, you know, like, who is his father, you know, and, you know, like, just came in to, to find him and everything. And there you have, I don't know where, you know, his old gang, because, like, feels like Frank Stockburn is, like, a retired bandit, you know. And there you have this, uh, his second in command, his Cicero, played by Dan and Trio, Machet. Oh, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. You know, saying, like, no, I respect your retirement earth. But the money, that belongs to all of us. Man, I mean, the talking, the look. I mean, Danny Trier is one of the actors who everywhere you see him, he has this badass look. I mean, he is one, I mean, he is a, he is an actor who can really easily play badass villains. I mean, he, I know he's 71 years old, but, and I know there are a lot of movies that he made were low budget, but I enjoy it because seeing him, the way how he talks, the acts, you know, his look, you know, with his eyes, you know, the face expressions, I mean, he's such a badass actor, I mean, a really badass actor, and I mean, it's really unfair that, you know, that, you know, that the big, that the big companies who try to make some kind of really big, you know, movie with connected with action, that doesn't seem, you know, as a real opportunity to play, for example, a perfect badass villain. I, I really don't know why, I know he's 71. But he still have a chance to prove himself, like he, like he did a lot of movies. For example, like even uh, Machete for once for something that he is very well known. And I and I watch it and I watched it, his movie around really like hundreds of times, and I love him. I love him. And Danny Tree is an actor; he's really good. Also, you know, with that, you know, also like I said, so in this adventure, I'm saying like he's going like to find this fifty thousand dollars, you know, which appears like he's the biggest score of this uh, Frank Stockburn guy. And, you know, in this adventure, you know, he's me, he meets one by one, you know, all his, like, half, uh, five half-brothers. Which are played by Terry Crews, uh, Jorge Garcia, Taylor Lautner, Rob Schneider, and Luke Wilson. And who is the first he met? It's this little, you know, Mexican Ramon, played by Rob Schneider. And, of course, accompanied with his poodle. <laughs> Rob Schneider was the first, I mean... Not only he was also one of the greatest comedians I ever saw, but also, also you know, he's the childhood friend of Ryan Sander. And 
I really missed. I mean, I really didn't see these these uh, movies for a long time. I mean, uh, to be one of the leading roles, and I really miss him. And, and, and since I mean, I didn't see him since the Grown Ups first movie, and I really enjoyed to see him this movie. You know, playing like you know, playing his Mexican accent. You know, with his donkey. You know, like who is shitting. You know, who is shitting. Who is making a tsunami? A shit tsunami every single time. You know, I mean, he made only two times, but whatever. I mean, that's not. Crap, that's a shit tsunami, you know, and <laughs> one in the first scene I say, that means he likes you. <laughs> and, okay, and they all play nice, I mean, the, the old actors play the six, I mean, the one who played Herm, you know, the mute one, uh, was played by Jorgas Garcia, actually I never saw this actor, yeah, that was the, that's the first time I ever saw him, because I never, I never saw him, I mean, the other, the other actors, I know them uh, for a lot of uh, other movies, but, and, but this one I never saw him. I never saw him before. So, in this entire movie, you know, in this entire movie, you know, uh, okay, maybe all. I mean, uh, the entire movie in shortly is you know like try you know this him and his brothers you know half brothers sorry you know make this you know adventures and robberies you know trying to make this fifty thousand dollars to save you know uh, their dad Nick Nolte and everything and. In this entire, in this, oh, not only in this entire movie, we have you know the action, the comedy, but also we had some really creepy, uh, creepy scenes and you know the, uh, historical you know uh, characters. Like for example, like David Spade who played General Custer. Then we have you know uh, Blake Shelton play Wyatt Earp. You know the famous uh, like in the, in the time of Wild West, uh, Marshal uh, Wyatt Earp. You know who is also you know uh, is even written in history. One of the you know like uh, famous gun you know uh, gunners in all the you know Wild West whatever you know and also you know we have like Abner Doubleday who uh, who was not only you know known by the Civil War and everything but also you know who appears like he was known even if he's a lie was known as the creator of uh, baseball and who was actually played by John Turturro also one of, also one of the few actors who played uh, who played in a few movies with Adam Sandler. And then we have Mark Twain, played by, Van played by Vanilla Ice. Vanilla Ice. Then we have Abraham Lincoln and John Wilk uh, Wilkes Booth, played by Chris Catton. You know, and if everyone knows who John Wilkes Booth, you know. Simple Tyrannus, killer of Abraham Lincoln. Well, there we go. Let's move, let's move on. So, not only have historical characters, but also we have, you know, the adventure, the comedy, and everything. I mean, it was really great. And also, like I said, we have a lot of new, a lot of, you know, known uh, actors, you know, in this movie. Like, like I said, except David Spade, uh, David, Danny Trail, uh, and Nick Nolte. We have, you know, uh, Steve Buscemi, Will Forte, Harvey Kill, David Spade, Steve Zahn, John Lovitz, you know, uh, John Torturo. I mean, we have a lot of new, a lot of actors playing this movie, which also is one of the biggest points, you know, why this movie is really great. And like I said before, I mentioned there were a few scenes. Why well, find them very um, creepy, creepy. Oh, and by the way, before I came, also we have a, another old timer here in this movie, which uh, played this like casino owner, Golden Nugget, Smile Harris, played by Harvey Keitel, which also is well known by playing a lot of you know like mobster type of uh, bad guys, you know, in his career and everything. And which also he's one of the really great actors, and I really wonder how the hell they get in this movie. I mean. Whatever, I mean, uh, he played it awesome. Even if he had only one scene, I mean, b an entire big scene and everything. I mean, in, in this movie, and ended up, you know, by Rob Schneider, you know, with a uh, shovel, you know, he tried, you know, he tried to, he tried to knock him out. But instead, he knocked him out literally, cut off his head. And even in his death, his head was smiling. Now I get it why he was called Smiley. Because even in his death, he's smiling. And okay, the, uh, that, that's the beginning of the first scene that I find creepy. When his head was cut off, I mean, that, I know it was the, kind of a punchline in this movie and everything, but his body was still like bang, bang, and all like shooting and everything, moving. Like for example, like you tried to cut off uh, the head of a chicken, and she's st and she's still running. Well, that, that's on the, that, well, that's on the same point. Uh, they're, they're, they're done with Smile Harris' body, and you know, of course, he shoot you know all the six bullets and everything, and drop down dead. But even like I said, even his death, he was smiling. The other creepy scene for me was, you know, you know, where, uh, oh yeah, we also had uh, a uh, gang who was known as the Life, 
the left side gang, you know, and the rule and the rules rule like, you know, is that you have to, you know, like uh, take your take your right eye out, so only you can have the left one, you know, open everything. That's why they call the left eye bandit, bandits. And the one of the creepy scenes that I really found creepy is, you know, when uh, how was the guy's name? Um, Damn, how was, how was the guy's name? Uh, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Steve Zan. Steve Zan, you know, when he cut out his eye with a spoon. Sharp spoon. I mean, they didn't actually show it. But they, but they show it, you know, uh, alongside with his shadow. And when his eye drop out, you know, and, you know, just circling around and everything, like, I'm like, I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay. And when he take it off, literally... That was creepy, really creepy. Uh, I mean, okay, um, I know it was supposed to be funny, but for me it was kind of creepy, really creepy. And the other one is, you know, like uh, the Steve Buscemi scene, you know, I don't know who, what he was in this movie, a barber or a doctor? I mean, whatever it was, I mean, that, that, that was a very really disgusting scene, you know. There you have, like, in the Herm, the mute one, you know, like, you know, uh, taking, like, his clothes off and showing him, like, you know, to see this problem with some kind of a rash down on his uh, main property. And he was, like, you know, you know, like, uh, with some kind of a cream. I don't know if it was a shaving cream or something else. I mean, I don't know, but whatever. You know, he put it all on his, his uh, down zone, where, the, where his dick it was, and everything, you know, like, and saying, like, now... Whatever you do or whatever you did with someone or something, stop doing that because, like, it appears like he has some kind of monstrosity of a rash, a rash inside. Where, and then you know, with the, with the Zeka Singh cream, he went to Taylor Lautner's mouth, then Rob Schneider's beard, and then on his lips. That was disgusting. Funny, yeah, funny, but disgusting. And the other one, last scene, I found, you know, creepy and disgusting, was, you know, like, when the first time little Pete, uh, what should I say, Taylor Lautner and Rob Schneider and Adam Stern, you know, tried to rob this uh, this money from all the other robbers, and they try, you know, to make some kind of diversion, like, you know, uh, Rob Schneider on his burrow, and, like, you know, the robbers will see, like, you know, this donkey is, like, sucking his, uh, uh, Lautner's dick, but in fact, in the first time, you know, he was eating this uh, carrot, and then the next time, like, and the same was showing, like, okay, we got the money and everything, like, let's go. He was literally, uh, I mean, not in, in the movie, in the movie, not filming, in the movie, in the movie. He was licking his dick, and that was also disgusting. That was also disgusting. And one of the most uh, interesting parts, you know, in this movie was, you know, seeing them all together, you know, all the six, you know, on the, on the fire, uh, you know, around the fire and singing like you, yo, yo, yeah, you know, the song like, you know, when they're gonna, when they're gonna meet his dad. And <laughs> one of the most interesting part, one of the funny quotes I ever like, you know, when I in the trailer, like, oh no, are you guys ready? I'm ready. I'm hungry. I'm wrong. I'm open. It's okay. <laughs> it was really funny, you know, everything. And also, what was really funny, you know, when, uh, uh, when he said, you know, like, when he said, like, I'm, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna play the piano with my dick. And then at the end, you know, like, when he had the wedding and everything, you know, Adam Sandler with his, uh, I think what she was named the Smoke, Smoking Fox and the Indian girl, you know, when he, like, we, when he, it was like the ceremony and everything, he was playing, you know, the piano with his dick. And I'm like, ah. not literally, I don't think it this really did, but literally. I mean, it was, that was really all but funny, really kind of funny. And the, that entire, you know, movie was actually, you know, action, you know, robberies, comedy and everything. And, okay, one of the most other creepy things was, you know, when Taylor Lautner was, when he dropped his face on the sheriff's boob, uh, wife's boobs, you know, big ones, like melons, whatever, I mean, whatever, and, you know, when he does, you know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, like that, and then, you know, he was very prepared to be hanged and everything, and there you have, his neck didn't snap, and he still lives, and then he was, like, bouncing all around, you know, jailing, making fun of them and everything, I mean, I mean, that, for me it was funny, but for some people it can be that creepy, you know, like, you know, okay, you know, like he's hanging, but he is, he's not actually dead, whatever, I mean, whatever, whatever, I mean, uh, so like I said, I mean, it was weird, but funny, so in the short term, you know, like I said, the entire movie was like, you know, the adventure of these six, you know, trying to find the money to, to, to save, 
Nick Nolte's life, and really, they really had, you know, it had everything, you know, the beginning, the plot, the motive, you know, the end. They had everything a really nice like, Western type of comedy must have. Okay, like I said, there were some kind of race scenes about the Indians, and but it can't be surpassed. Actually, it can't be surpassed. Actually, there. So I mean, the time. I mean, for my opinion, the end. Oh yeah. Well, the first time I saw Nick Nolte being in this movie, I mean, I actually didn't. I didn't saw. I didn't watch Nick Nolte's movies for a long time. Which I'm also I'm a fan of Nick Nolte's movies because he's really such a badass actor. Also him. But then I actually saw his movies for quite a long time. I mean, the last one was you know when he was in Spider Wick. Yeah, that was the, that was the last movie I saw him. Then after you know I didn't actually saw him. And my he got old. And the really what shocked me was his voice. His rusty voice. I mean his voice was rusty, like he swallowed some kind of paper ball. And it was like I mean oh okay, I mean no offense. Oh, I mean no offense for Nick Nolte. I mean no offense. Okay, well maybe this is the thing like you know when you get older everybody in fact even when he was younger he had this kinda sharp, you know deep voice even when he was younger but you know it was really kind of surprised for me to see him here and when I saw him the first time I knew I knew it he's gonna be one of the bad guys be mostly because mostly Nick Nolte plays the bad guys in the movies mostly and I knew he, he, he was gonna be a bad guy I knew it for, for a long I mean all this time I knew it and then in the end he finally showed to like to his sons you know who he really is, you know, like, you know, and, he, and all his plan was, like, to find Adam Sandler, you know, and, of course, like, to make him to, which, of course, like, himself, you know, he's one of the most famous uh, outlaw, you know, in the Wild West, and wherever he goes, the sheriff of Hawaii, right you now, in a few seconds, came along and, and arrested him, so that's why, you know, he tried, his plan was to use Adam Sandler to bring his money, you know, on his own, alongside with his other five half-brothers, which, actually, they did, you know, that was entirely his plan, clever? We were who was playing clever, but some somehow also you know very obvious. But whatever, whatever, and whatever. So, in the show words, you know, I in this way I really had a lot of fun. I really had a lot of fun, and I really liked it. I enjoyed it. You know, all you know from the beginning to the end. You know, and I liked it. I liked it. Even if I know, even if I know that Nick Nolte and uh, Danny Trio had only two scenes in this movie, but it was, actually it was fair enough because the entire movie was all about you know these six, all, all these like uh, six half brothers. I mean their adventures, you know the story and everything. I mean, it was all about them. But actually, I enjoyed it and it was fair enough. You know, like because I, I, at the end, you know there were a lot of characters. You know there were a lot of actors in this movie, so it makes sense. You know why they didn't have a lot of scenes. You know all all of them. So. I agree with that, and so in short, in the, in, the, in the end, I only wish to say, Adam Sandler, you did it again. I enjoyed this movie, the action, especially the comedy, and Taylor Lautner, you really proved, you really proved that you can be also be a comedian. Even, even if he played a complete young idiot in this movie, he proved that he can play a lot of other things, not only being serious like he did in Twilight the Saga. So, Taylor Lautner, whatever people were saying about you in this movie, you were great. Don't care what people say. You were great and funny. I really quite enjoy your know, impressions and everything. Well done. So I will give this movie a really great plus and go into the uh, collection of uh, the best Alan Sandler movies that he ever did. And so, like I said, I really quite enjoy it. So I'm done. Drop, uh, uh, no, I uh, drop a like. We we'll appreciate it. Comment, subscribe. Give us the example. What you personally think about this movie if you watch it? I know that I expect there's gonna be a lot of dislikes about the uh, one of the, my review and everything, saying like you know I love it and everything, but I don't care. I don't care. I love this movie, and I always said like if you want to judge a movie, go to the theater or download it, watch it, and then judge it. Note by the comments, okay? Because also not only I'm Sanders movies, but also I find a lot of other movies that people say that they stink, they were shit, and when I watched it, it was the other way around. They were great. Yeah, they were great. Just like this movie. So drop a like, like I said at the beginning. I really appreciate it. Peace, everyone. Have an awesome rest of the day. Laurel Shadows, like always, signing off. See you next time.